Well, there seems to be some discrepancy over my musical knowledge. So I thought perhaps my video today might address that. These are my grandparents Martin. Now, Grandma Martin got her music degree at DePaul University. Um, she was a pianist, and a very, very good pianist, and she loved ragtime. I didn't know her. She died in 1964, and I was born in 67. Uh, he d died then the following year in 65, so I didn't get to meet him either. Those are my dad's parents. But they had a tradition in their family that each of their kids, and they had five, four boys and one girl, should play the piano plus, a, plus an instrument of their choice. Now, my parents carried that tradition over to us, too. I am the youngest of six, three boys, three girls, and we all had to play the piano plus an instrument of choice. So, I know classical music very well. These are my mother's parents. And he was a farmer. He uh, owned and operated the Attica Lumber Company. Her parents owned the Attica Lumber Company and the Brook Lumber Company. And they gave the Attica ones to them to run. My grandmother, my mom's mom, is the only grandparent I knew. He died two months after I was born, in early 68. So I grew up, she was the only grandparent that I knew, and she was the organist for the Catholic Church. She was the organist for the Methodist Church. So my mother grew up being a classically trained soprano who was born and raised in the choir loft. And my father played the piano, plus the instrument of choice he chose was trumpet. His favorite kind of music is jazz, swing, and Dixieland. He likes to have music playing in the house constantly on the classical music station, and sometimes jazz. I grew up hearing music, classical music, all kinds of music, throughout the house. From my parents, everything from classical to blues to Dixieland to swing. And then, since I am the youngest of six kids and my older brothers and sisters loved rock and roll, I heard everything from rock and roll to Motown and blues and soul and disco and funk. And I have been exposed to all kinds of music. It's my mom and my dad, my sister Pat, my brother Mike, who passed away, my sister Ellen, my brother Greg, my sister Angela, and myself. My, my sister Angela is the only one of us, really, who continued with her music. She got her performance degree. Her uh, instrument of choice was violin, and she has her performance degree from Loyola, I believe. It's either Loyola or DePaul. And she still plays in the, the uh, Fort Atkinson Symphony in Wisconsin. Plus, she uh, plays fiddle in uh, country bands. That's, she loves to do that. Uh, my instrument of choice was clarinet. And I was told I was one of the best that ever came through the Waukegan school system, but I hated it. I couldn't wait to quit. The family policy was... You had to play until, I think we were 16, it was either 13 or 16, and then we were given the option, if we really didn't want to continue, we could quit, but if we wanted to continue, our parents would get us a good quality instrument. I chose to quit because I hated it, um, but I was the first chair of the Waukegan grade school band, the first chair of, of the Webster Junior High band, and I was on my way to becoming the first chair of the high school band when I quit. I won two scholarships to study music summers at the uh, University of Illinois and a lot of people were angry with me when I quit but I hated it. My brother Greg's uh, instrument of choice also was clarinet 
My two eldest sisters uh, instrument of choice was flute. My sister Pat continued further than my sister Ellen. She quit. She hated it too. <laughs> she wanted to dance and she she took up some dance classes. My brother Mike was the other one like my sister Angela who really continued with music. His instrument of choice was trumpet like my father's. But he went on, see he and my sister she was born in 53, he was born in 54. So they were of the Beatles generation. They saw the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan show. My brother Mike had all of the original Beatles records. He was Beatle crazy. And he grew up to, of course, form his own band through high school. And he continued having his bands pretty much all the way up until he got sick. He was an alcoholic, unfortunately, and died in Manchester, England. Um, let me see. What else? I just meant to, to, uh, to explain my, um, musical heritage. And yes, I do know Dvorak's New World Symphony and quite a lot of other things. <laughs>